last four or five years I've been working on the bridge uh, with these guys doing uh, refurbishment work and just documenting what we're doing to the bridge. Uh, we, well, we just got about between 10 and 12 million pounds from Heritage Lottery and Welsh Government and City Council to do a full refurb of the entire bridge. And we're going to tent it, uh, sandblast it, repaint it, replace all the structural steel that's defective, uh, maybe some of the cables as well. And uh, that's going to happen in the next uh, year or so and probably close the bridge for about three years. These type of projects are are challenging because there's there isn't exactly a book about how to repair these things or there isn't another bridge that's had this work done to it. But our big jobs like replacing wheels on top or working on the rails, it all has to be done off season so it's quite cold and damp and you can if it's blowing a little bit down here you're guaranteed it's blowing like 40, 50 miles an hour up there. Yeah. The bridge basically requires constant maintenance because it's a steel structure in a maritime environment and it just gets hammered by the elements and you can just see little bits of rust and corrosion everywhere you look and it all needs to be kept on top of. It was starting to be planned in the late late 19th century, and they broke ground around 1902 and uh, built it between 1904 and 1906. It was open 1906. And amazingly, nobody died when they built it. The reason the bridge is designed in this way is that uh, at that time, late 19th century, you had massive sailing ships, many masts, huge tall masts. The part we're on the gondola is suspended from the boom and it just goes back and forth without ever really blocking the river, or if so, just for 30 seconds. So the ships can sail without a problem. However, what the ironic part is, as soon as they uh, built this bridge, they changed the way they built ships from sailing ships to steamships. And But the reason they decided to put it here was that steel works down here, they needed a way to get all the workers and materials and all that from this propel over to here. There are, uh, there were I think 19 or so transporter bridges made and really all over the world there are only, I believe six left in the world and only a couple of those are fully functional and this one is the most original. Uh, part of the restoration money is also going to restore it. We could bring the bridge back to its, um, to its really, they took a lot of pride when they made it and it yeah. was covered in these fancy little decorations. Panels like this with this kind of square mesh, that's not original, but if you look closely at these other areas, see the mesh in there, it's quite decorative. Everything they did here, they did on paper in two dimensions and they did all their calculations and it worked. And so it's uh, possibly over-engineered, but uh, also quite elegant. If you look closely too, the legs, they start narrow, they go wide, and they go narrow again. I don't want to, it's not really that necessary, but it's very aesthetic, and so they did that on purpose. The gondola that we were standing on that's suspended on cables from a traveler and then just this cable moves the traveler back and forth to each bank. So that's the that's all there is to it. Uh, but like I said there's lots of moving parts and it takes a lot of maintenance to keep on top of everything and make it uh, run smoothly and it should be very quiet when it runs. So anytime you hear a little squeak you know you need to go up there and adjust something or put some more grease down. When it was in constant use lots of parts wear out and you'd have to have spares on standby because there was a lot of pressure to keep the bridge open because it was a really active part of the city's infrastructure. So they were working, you know, night and day, or uh, even when the bridge was running, sneaking little jobs in to try to, you know, uh, not delay traffic. And uh, there's only a few left, and this one is in such uh, original condition, it makes it highly significant and worth uh, preserving. <laughs>